Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand delays in computer networks. So, the performance of the overall computer network, uh, it depends upon different types of delays that are possible. So, we are going to understand all those delays in our in, in this class. So, uh, there are the four different types of delays. One is transmission delay. Next one is propagation delay. Next one is processing delay. And the next one is queuing delay. <coughs> Coming to the first one, it is transmission delay. A source host, what is what is meant by transmission delay is a source host or a router. So it happens in the source host uh, or a router uh, cannot send a packet instantaneously. A sender needs to put its bits, sender or router needs to put its bits in a packet in a packet in line one by one. So it has to put all those packets in uh, one after the another. So for example, if the packet is having a thousand bits, so all those packets ought to be arranged in a um, one after the other. So the time taken for the source or the router to arrange all those bits in, in, in a sequence one by one. So that amount of time is what we call it as transmission delay. Uh, uh, the time taken to make this process uh, is what we call it as transmission delay. So the transmission delay is packet length. So it is the uh, length of the packet by the rate at which the transmission is done. So the transmission delay is uh, uh, packet length by transmission rate the second one is propagation delay so what is this propagation delay the name itself states that the propagation delay is the time taken for a bit to transfer from one system to another system so from point a to point b in the trans transmission medium <coughs> So there are different uh, two different transmission mediums. One is a wired transmission medium and the other one is wireless transmission medium. So in those mediums, the amount of time, what is meant by propagation delay is uh, propagation delay is the time uh, for uh, the data uh, for a bit uh, to travel from one point to another point. For one single point, the amount of time taken by that bit to transmit from one point to another point. So that is what we call it as propagation delay. So this propagation delay is uh, in on what factors will it depend? It depends upon the uh, distance, distance of the uh, medium and also the propagation speed. The propagation speed varies, right? For example, if you take a wired, uh, wired, uh, wired medium, there are different wired mediums like copper, uh, uh, twisted pairs. Uh, the next one is fiber optics. So each one is having its own propagation speeds. So in fiber, uh, uh, optical fiber, the speed of uh, uh, the speed of uh, transmission is very high when compared with uh, a twisted pair, which is uh, which is made up of copper. And in the vacuum, the speed, uh, the, the, the data travels at a rate of 3 into 10 power 8 meters per second. So at that speed uh, in vacuum, the content will get, the data will get transmitted. So uh, it depends upon the medium. So the factors upon which the propagation delay depends is it is propagation speed and distance. And how to calculate the propagation delay? It is distance by propagation speed if the propagation speed is less then the propagation delay is more if the propagation delay is more then the propagation delay is uh, uh, high okay so uh, and uh, distance if the distance is more the propagation delay is less sorry the propagation delay is more if the distance is less the propagation delay is less so this is what we call it as propagation delay similarly if you take processing delay so what is this processing delay is processing delay is the time taken is the time required for a router or a destination host to receive the packet from its input port remove the header process and deliver the packet to the output port for example if you take a router what happens in the router so after after uh, coming into the uh, uh, the packet coming into the router will it be directly transmitted to the output port no it will not happen in that way in the router what happens is so it has to that the data has to come into the uh, router so some time is taken uh, for a router or a destination to receive the packet from its input port so that that data has to be received from its input 
port sometime will take and after that it has to remove the header some type some time will be taken and after that after that that the data has to be processed for error correction so all those uh, uh, stuff has to be done and uh, after that that uh, the packet has to be transmitted through the uh, uh, through the output port so this entire time the time taken for this entire process to happen is what we call it as processing delay it it does not it it dip, it, dip, it varies from time to time there is no specific factors upon which it is going to depend because if the if the uh, if the number of processes are there to get, uh, to get transmitted then it will take lot amount of time on, on different factors it will depend so how you're going to calculate is uh, usually will take the average value of all these values okay so this is what we call it as uh, processing delay and the next one is queuing delay the name itself is stating that the delay of the packets to wait in the queues to get processed so in the routers in the routers the after transmitting after receiving the data at the input port uh, from the input port the if there are more number of processes are running more, more number of uh, uh, data packets are running on the router so it has to consider the uh, consider the uh, packets to be processed in a specific order so for that we are going to use a queue data structure and based upon that one by one the the things will get processed so the amount of taken the amount of time that the that the packet will uh, take will, will be there within that queue that amount of time is what we call it as a queuing delay okay so all these four are the different factors different delays that affect the performance of a computer network so if these delays are very less means the overall performance of the computer network will be very high if these delays are very uh, very high means the overall performance performance is going to get spoiled right so the uh, the packet that we're going to receive uh, will take a lot amount of time so uh, this is how this is how the delays will impact the overall performance of uh, computer networks hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching